Hello, welcome back to Benusisi Life Noding. In this episode, we're gonna use the greater than math function with uh, metaballs. So it's gonna be pretty simple, but the effects is actually quite interesting. So we're gonna start with a vector p, and this is gonna create a 3D point cloud field. And I'm gonna save it real quick. SP point cloud metaballs. And if you right click, you're gonna see this is like a, just a bunch of points. But the cool thing about this is that we can have a lot of points, but the meta balls will adjust itself. And it's actually pretty um, efficient in doing it. And so meta balls, uh, before I create meta balls, I will actually use list masking. And I will use the math functions. Uh, what is that compare or logic okay logic functions so greater than okay what's we gonna what's we gonna be comparing with it's a uh, we can use the easiest is to use noise so noise vector noise because we have like a uh, point clouds here a bunch of vectors in 3d space we pipe it into vector noise and this will generate noise right and the output is gonna be vector or scalar we just gonna need scalar and with a scalar um, output we can compare it with this number and we should have a result that's basically a true or false so we can adjust this and then as a result this guy can go into uh, the mask the data itself is actually the vector p field and let's see the result data if true plug this here um, looks like level list needs to be 2 so now you can see how the 3d vector noise is affecting uh, the points maybe use data if false we're gonna get the opposite so that's kind of cool, right? And at this point, we can use uh, vector math. So have it so that we can scale the noise. So this is, uh, I think, really interesting effects. And if you want to do more, you can also use move. And you can move the vector in X, Y, or the Z. Usually Z axis is nice. And you can increase the number of vector and you can see you started to see something that looks like a voxel a volumetric okay so we have let's try with 1000 points first and so we have the points all we need to do is plug it into metaballs and metaballs is really only expecting uh, a matrix of some sort by default, it's gonna generate a metric a meta balls uh, with type of ball. Um, so let's plug the vector into the origin so we get that. Let's scale the radius, and we start to see the effects of meta balls. And we can play with the threshold. We can also increase the resolutions. Be careful with this number because it's very uh, sensitive. That seems pretty alright. Point 0.1, you can go even lower. Play with a threshold. Stiffness also. But there you go, that's the... That's the meta balls and we can play around with the noise. And maybe increase the number of meta balls, 20 by 20 by 20 that's uh, 8,000 8, points randomize the seed so that's pretty cool and let's try scaling the noise effects and you can have that result and since they are actually meta balls in the outliner if you check it out that's a meta ball um, if you want to bake it, you can use convert to 
mesh, mesh and then you get a an actual mesh but you can also do it this way use uh, object out object id out type in the object turn on post modifier and then right click here connect it to viewer draw so at any time in points you can you can actually back it out like so so this guy the blue one is actually live so let's try make a bit of adjustment here so that's our greater than function um, you can also actually instead of using greater than sometimes you want to have like a um, if you are using cycles you can use color ramps so the effects is not like a true or false but you can have like a more like a gradation so that's where you want to use a mapping map range so based on whatever noise value here uh, it's a good idea actually to check um, using text viewer let's see if we can see this Oops, that's actually quite a lot. 8,000 8, floating data. Um, this might take a while. Okay. So you can check. Okay, the value is actually between maximum of 6, 7. So the value is actually quite large. That's interesting. Oh, that's because of the output here. But the noise, the noise coming in, and then you can adjust the value. So it's if the noise is between minus one and one, you can adjust it to so that uh, it's between zero and one, and you can pipe this as the radius of the metaball. But uh, in this case, since we already do the masking, uh, this is not gonna work properly. But if you want to skip the mask, you can you can use this method. So let's save this. So that's uh, two ways to do it. So we start with uh, some kind of point cloud data. And then um, let's adjust this. This is like still live. You can adjust it in any way you like. And do the masking of the uh, point cloud using vector noise in this case you can use anything you can actually use uh, turbulence turbulence will give a uh, maybe more interesting result and you pipe it into list masking and then this will be used as metaballs transform and then if you want to have real objects i mean the metaball is already real objects but this guy is actually polygon data and so you can use viewer draw or BMS viewer. So this one probably is probably what you like. And then you can use remesh modifier and block. There you go. So you have like live meta balls um, let me see if I can just animate this so animating the noise and then the result is live and you're getting this uh, 3d voxel data and yeah <clears throat> try using uh, other things other than vector noise or if you feel you can create your own functions normally I just use this guy but you can make any kind of 3D noise and the, the output is going to be right there. It's going to be live. And you can still control it from here. So you can kind of make like a build up animation. Even though it's voxelated, but uh, still kind of interesting. And you can try increasing the number um, really high. Let me try 50 by 50 by 50, 125,000. 
metaballs, like I said, it's pretty efficient. So it's going to be still pretty fast, but I'm actually recording now. So, oh, there you go. It's already completed. It looks like not much of resolution, but if I increase it, it's going to be uh, looking pretty interesting. So let me try going lower. I'm lower, uh, lowering the radius and then also looks like the balls are kind of far away from each other. Interesting. Stiffness. There's also these negations that I, I rarely use, but maybe that's useful. 0 0.05. Okay, maybe this is too far apart. Maybe okay, one by one by one. Okay. Okay, we're getting something, but uh, anyhow, play around with this and try randomizing, and you can also remove coin cloud based on its distance from each other so that can be really handy to reduce the complexity but still getting a result there we go remove distance 0 0.05 if they are too close you just remove the dis um, the points and then at this stage we can actually increase the the radius and you get that now it's no longer it looks like random but the noise is actually controlling the um, the points so let's see how it looks Maybe I'll, I can try rendering this out, maybe. Um, let's see how it goes. But there you go. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, hopefully you like this technique. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.